गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू होप यू आर ऑल फाइन एंड डूइंग वेल डियर स्टूडेंट्स डू यू लाइक टू हियर म्यूजिक एंड सॉन्ग्स येस आई नो आई नो बिकॉज म्यूजिक एट्रैक्ट्स एवरी वन एवरी वन लाइक्स टू हियर म्यूजिक एंड सॉन्ग्स बिकॉज म्यूजिक इज गॉड्स गिफ्ट टू मैन द ओनली आर्ट ऑफ हैवन टू गिव एन टू अर्थ the only art of earth we can take to heaven okay uh, could you name a few names of indian singers okay can you give me a few names of indian singers yes uh, you are right uh, shri s p balasubramanyam yes pandit bhimsen joshi yes yes yeah shrimati gangubai hangal then yes uh, shrimati एस जानकी एनी रिमेम्बर द नेम्स ऑफ सिंगर्स यस द फेमस सिंगर लता मंगेशकर यस स्टूडेंट्स यू आर ऑल राइट एक्सलेंट आंसर्स आर गिवन बाय यू दे आर द फेमस सिंगर्स ऑफ इंडिया ओके कैन यू टेल मी द फेमस इंडियन म्यूजिशियंस ओके ट्राई रिमेम्बर द नेम्स ऑफ इंडियन म्यूजिशियंस Yes, yes, you are right. Uh, Shri A R Rahman, and the famous Indian, uh, India, South Indian musician, Ile Raja. Yes, then Hans Lekha. Okay, right answer. Excellent. And then, uh, yes, uh, Arjun Janya. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Uh, and then in Hindi, uh, Bhakti Lehri. Yes, students, they are all famous Indian musicians. Today. Let us learn about a jazz musician described by Carl Wendell Hines Jr. in the poem "Jazz Poem 2." Okay, uh, all of you listen the poem carefully. Jazz Poem 2, Carl Wendell Hines Jr. There he stands, see, like a black ancient mariner. his wrinkled old face so full of the wearies of living is turned downward with closed eyes his frayed collar faded blue old shirt turns dark with sweat and the old necktie undone drops loosely about the worn old jacket just barely holding his sagging stomach in yeah his run down shoes have paper in them and his rough unshaven face shows pain in each wrinkle but there he stands in self brought solitude head still down eyes still closed ears perked and trained upon the bass line for across his chest lies an old alto saxophone supported from his neck by a wire coat hanger gently he lifts it now to parted lips see to tell all the world that he is a black man that he was sent here to preach the black gospel of jazz now preaching it with words of screaming notes and calls he is no longer a man no not even a black man but yeah a bird one that gathers his wings and flies high high higher until he flies away or come back to find himself a black man again dear students now let us understand about the poet carl wendel hines junior was born on september 1 1940 in wilson north carolina 
to middle class black parents. Carl Wendell Heinz attended public school in Wilson where he developed an interest in music and became a jazz pianist. Heinz had his first success as a published poet when Arna Bontemps accepted two jazz poems in 1960. He continued his interest in jazz. His poems have been hoisted as some of the best by contemporary writers. Now, look at the meanings of new words. Uh, ancient Mariner A reference to the poem The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner by Samuel Coleridge in which a seaman shoots an albatross, a bird of good or man, and suffers supernatural punishment. Okay, ancient mariner uh, means uh, it is a character described by Samuel Coleridge in his poem, The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. Here, that mariner shoots a bird of good uh, omen. Uh, the name of the bird is albatross. And uh, that mariner suffers a lot. At the time of suffering, there were a number of uh, wrinkles on his face. In the same way, in this poem, uh, this jazz musician has so many wrinkles on his face. So, uh, Carl Wendell Heinz Jr. Uh, describes this jazz musician as Coleridge's ancient mariner. Yes, students, uh, the next word is wearies of living. No longer interested in or enthusiastic about anything in life. A person who has not interested in life uh, because of the problems or uh, hardships of life. So what we call in Kannada, Badukinali uh, Jigupse. Yes, now next word, sag. Sag means to hang. If a person has a big stomach that hangs down, okay, hangs means, uh, that means uh, sagging. Okay, sag means hang. Next word is fray. Threads in a piece of cloth starting to come apart. Uh, dear students, look at this picture. The thread starts to come apart. You can understand the meaning of this word looking this picture. Uh, yes, uh, now the next word is solitude. The state of being alone. Uh, this picture uh, shows the loneliness of a person. When we lose our interest in our life, we feel alone, uh, what we call obbantitana. Uh, yes, the next word is uh, ears perk, uh, brighten up, means listening carefully. Uh, yes, uh, next word is gospel, a type of religious music in which religious songs are sung very loudly. In temples or in any center of religion, we can see the, some singers sing the religious prayers in loud voice. Uh, in temples, uh, we call it as kirtane. Yes, uh, next word is screaming notes, loud musical songs. Uh, you can see some singers, they sing uh, their songs in a loud voice. Uh, that is called screaming notes. Screaming means in a high pitch. Uh, dear students, next word is wrinkle. Wrinkle means a slight line. It may be on the face or any cloth. You can understand uh, the meaning of wrinkle looking at this uh, picture. Dear students, I think you might have understood 
the meanings of new words now let us understand the summary of the poem the jazz poem 2 now look at the first stanza there he stands see like a black ancient mariner his wrinkled old face so full of the wearies of living is turned downward with closed eyes now discuss the summary the jazz player stands like a black ancient mariner here uh, this uh, ancient mariner is a character of a famous poet samuel coleridge samuel coleridge wrote a poem the rhyme of the ancient mariner and in that poem there is a character like jazz musician in that poem the character is a seaman or mariner he shoots a bird of good omen that bird's name is albatross and that mariner shoots that bird and he suffers supernatural punishment uh, like that mariner here the jazz musician stands his face is full of wrinkles his wrinkled old face reflects he is not interested anything in life he keeps down his head with closed eyes look at this picture his eyes are closed and his uh, face is very old and that face reflects he is not interested anything in life now look at the second stanza his frayed collar faded blue old shirt turns dark with sweat and the old necktie undan drops loosely about the worn old black old jacket uh, he wears faded blue old shirt which turns dark and frayed collar uh, here frayed collar means that is old collar uh, the threads of his collar uh, came apart his shirt turned dark because of the sweat and the necktie it is also old and it is very loose uh, look at the picture uh, his necktie is very loose uh, that is about to be worn now look at the third stanza just barely holding his sagging stomach in yeah his run down shoes have paper in them and his rough unshaven face shows pain in each wrinkle but there he stands in self brought solitude here in this stanza uh look at his uh, stomach look at the picture look at his stomach uh, his old jacket is holding his hanging stomach uh, that is called here a sag the word sag is used uh, his jacket is barely holding his uh, stagging stomach his rough face shows pain in each wrinkle okay uh, look at his run down shoes have paper in them uh, look at the shoes look at the shoes uh run down shoes means uh, broken shoes he put paper in them and his face is very rough it is unshaven 
and uh, once again you look at his face look at the picture you can see the wrinkles on his face and each wrinkle that shows his pain that means uh, his life is full of pain and his life is full of hardships so each wrinkle on his fa face that shows the pain but there he stands in self brought solitude he stands alone in the state of uh, solitude now look at the next stanza head still down eyes still closed ears perked and trained upon the bass line for across his chest lies an old alto saxophone yes uh, his head still down his head is uh, downwards and even his eyes are still closed but ears perked and trained upon the bass line for across his chest lies an old alto saxophone look at the uh, picture you can see a uh, saxophone across his chest the musicians uh, use saxophone you might have seen this uh, uh, instrument which musicians use that is saxophone it is across his uh, chest now look at the next stanza an old alto saxophone supported from his neck by a wire coat hanger gently he lifts it now to parted lips yes uh, you can see a saxophone across his uh, chest uh, now he lifts it now to parted lips okay look at the picture uh the saxophone is uh is using to preach the gospel so uh jazz musician is using this saxophone a uh, parted lips means uh open open lips now he kept the saxophone in between two lips now look at the next stanza to tell all the world that he is a black man that he was sent here to preach the black gospel of jazz now preaching it with words of screaming notes yes uh, uh, he started to play the saxophone to tell all the world that he is a black man he is uh, telling that he is a black man that he was sent here to preach the black gospel of jazz he sent to, to the world to preach preach means teach to teach the world the black gospel of jazz gospel gospel means that uh, religious song he sent to the world to teach the people the religious songs now preaching it with words of screaming notes screaming notes means a uh, high pitch he is uh, playing saxophone in a uh, loud voice preaching uh, the black gospel to the world now look at the next stanza and cords he is no longer a man no not even a black man but yeah a bird one that gathers his wings and flies yes while playing saxophone he feels that he is not a black man but in the earlier stanza he told that he is a black man but when he started to play the saxophone he says that he is not a man no not even a black man he feels that he is not a black man but a bird he feels like a bird 
as he was playing saxophone he feels like a bird one that gathers his wings that bird gathers his uh, wings and flies high high higher Th that is in the last stanza look at the last stanza high high higher until he flies away or come back to find himself a black man again when he starts to play saxophone he feels like a bird uh, a bird that gathers wings and flies very high uh, here uh, the three words are used high high higher that means while playing music he turns himself into a bird and flies higher and higher when he comes back he is a black man again so uh, this poem suggests that music has such a power that it can get rid of all our worries and sadness and make us cheerful and lively so that is the summary of this poem jazz poem 2 uh, dear students hope you understand the poem now can i ask some questions could you answer my questions now the first question is how has the poet described the facial expression of the jazz player okay can you answer this question yes 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 your answer is right the jazz player has wrinkled old face it reflects weariness of living he turns his face downwards with closed eyes his rough unshaven face shows pain in each wrinkle now the second question how does the jazz player change as he plays on the saxophone yes the answer is as the jazz player starts to play on saxophone he is no longer a black man he appears to be like a bird flying higher and higher now the next question is what message does the jazz player want to convey yes answer this question yes the answer is the jazz player wants to convey that he is a black man and he was sent to the world to preach the black gospel of jazz the next question is describe the appearance of the jazz player yes the answer is the jazz player has wrinkled old face he wears a faded blue old shirt an old necktie and old jacket his shoes are old and torn and he has put a paper piece in them his face is rough and unshaven uh, dear students now we will see the figures of speech given in the poem now look at the first stanza there is stands see like a black ancient mariner here there he stands see like a black ancient mariner in this line the figure of speech simile is used what do you mean by simile simile is a figure of speech involving a comparison of one thing with another thing of a different kind used to make a description more empathetic and vivid 
using the words as so and like here in this line the poet makes comparison between coleridge's ancient mariner and jazz musician there is a comparison between jazz musician and ancient mariner and the word is used like so uh, this sentence is example for simile uh, dear students now i give you questions for home assignments dear students hope you understood the poem thank you